Hello everyone, it's Religious Fanboy here again, and today we are discussing the Christian lessons and themes in Puella Madoka Magica. Um, some brief disclaimers. Um, there are some in some scenes, mostly the transformation sequences, and for brief scenes in the openings, there are some silhouettes of people that do not appear to be clothing, and also one weird frame that in regards to an outfit, um, but these can be avoided by skipping the opening. And the only other, di besides that, I do recommend the messages of the and the themes discussed in the show. Um, and also, due to the show being used as illustrations for this sermon, there are implied spoilers. Um, but you can you not watch the show if you choose not to and not miss any of the information needed for the illustrations um, and still get the overall message of this video. Um, As always, we are starting the sermon off with our passage of scripture, which today comes to us from the book of John, chapter 16, verse 33 which says, I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace in the world. Have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. If God promises us peace and wants what is best for us, it is easy for us to wonder why is life so hard and find this to be contradictory. To what we hear in scripture and passages of scripture, such as this one today. And the answer to this, to these questions is that God does not want to give you, God does want to give you peace in life, but God does not promise you an easy life, and God has a very different view of success than the world views it. Um... And that our peace, the peace that God gives to us, as described here is we're, and implied in the scripture, is the peace that we are given through knowing that by having faith that God is with us and being able to trust that any tribulation and hardship or attack of the enemy 
that we may face now is able to be overcome by God and that we are preserved and that we will be preserved through our hardships by trusting in God. And the first talking point is God does promise us peace. Um, when we hear about in scripture of having peace and abundant life, um, it is easy to get caught up in our un un our own understanding of these words. And when we do that, it is very easy to interpret it in ways that infer that in this life that God promises us that we will not have rough seasons of our lives and that by following God we will be financially wealthy and people won't get sick. Um, and this is commonly referred to as prosperity gospel. Um, and having this mindset is similar to the... Um, the wish-granting creature of QB from Madoka Magica, where she offers to grant wishes in return for the main female characters in the show to become magical girls, but neglects to share her true intentions, which she is very well aware of that due to the despair and hardships that girls at the age of which she is recruiting them and the the fighting and the other issues that will they will experience will lead to them becoming witches and eventually killed and have their energy harvested. Um, this isn't saying that people that teach prosperity gospel are blatantly saying this, but this is more to show the importance of having a good, faithful, and godly understanding and view of scripture, and the importance of living life alongside our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ or fellow Christians. Um, because if we do not, if our life is missing these two very important things, it is very likely that we will not be prepared for our own hardships and our seasons of depressing and seasons of mourning that we will experience in our lives. Um, and we see this paralleled and will be discussed in my next talking point with and we see 
this necessity of support being seen and illustrated and paralleled in the show through what Madoka's wishes, and that is to provide comfort and support for all of the other magical girls in hopes that they would not give in to despair and become corrupted and eventually be destroyed. And I'm going to move on to the next talking point, which is in this world, you will face hardships. Um, as we go into ministry and, and just living life in general, there will be times where we struggle financially, loved ones die, we get sick, and we experience big life changes and have to make difficult adjustments. And there will be, and we'll have to make sacrifices. And there are cases um, where, as Christians, we may very well experience persecution um, as far as being taken or teased or bullied, like we may face here in America to even to points in other parts of the world where people have been and continue to be martyred and killed for their faith, sadly, on a regular basis. And like God's promises of peace and prosperity, this is something that God tells us about and warns us of where scripture says that Jesus was persecuted and crucified and killed for doing what God had asked him to do doing what he was called to do. And as his followers that we should not accept we should not expect to be treated better than Jesus was treated. This doesn't mean that we should constantly pursue the negative is that will lead to us being depressed and giving in to despair ourselves. But it is meaning that it is a possibility in our lives and that is all the more reason why we need, as Christians, walk alongside each other, be a support system, and show God's love to others, not only as a way of sharing the gospel and hoping to bring more people into a relationship with God, but also to help our fellow brothers and our fellow Christians into maintaining and continuing continuously pursuing a relationship with God. Some examples you see in the uh, so in the show is 
through looking at Miki's experiences and what leads to her become giving in to despair and becoming a witch and being corrupted herself is that she is unable to handle the burden because she feels like she is forced in her situation to carry her burden alone, which is in the, I bring this up because her feelings towards her job of killing the witches and protecting people is similar to how Christ people in ministry and Christians can feel when life gets hard or we feel no longer encouraged to do ministry because of a lack of growth in attendance or in conversion. You're seeing growth in the students or congregants. And this is why it's important that every Christian at any level of leadership and in any form of ministry are being both poured into spiritually as well as pouring into other people spiritually. And it's important to understand that it is impossible for us to be empty spiritually and poor, but still pouring into, still pouring out, trying to pour out spiritually into another person. And with that being said, I will move down to the last and final talking point, which is it is our relationship with God and the fact that God is with us. That is our source of peace. Um, the main in this, both having God with us, it, this goes back to why it's important for us to play the role of pouring into each other spiritually and being a support and the importance of having a support system, whether that be your Christian friends or even in the more formal um, format of being in a small group, that it is important to have good a good Christian support group because in our times of despair, it is very hard. It can be very hard for us to see God working and to know and to remember that He is present. And it. And in order to overcome the hardships we will face in life, it is vital that we remember that God is present. And because if we have a good relationship with God, we will be able to we shouldn't want to, but we will be prepared to face temporary hardships with just God and ourselves if we have faith that God is enough and are reminded that God is enough. But it will take 
the support we have of each other to remember that God is with us and that God continues to have the best, have our best interests in mind and is protecting us and is with us and has not abandoned us. And we see this through the fulfillment of Monica's wish. Um, this even allows Monica to go back in time. And we see how Miki is able to, in this new timeline that is created by Monica's wish, she is able to be comforted and feels reassured in the scene where they are watching her crush be able to perform music and that she, Monica, doesn't need to do anything besides be herself in order to, to provide comfort and make the other magical feel loved and help them to not go into, give in to despair. And we, and with that being said, I hope and pray that this was helpful to you and and if you'd like to support our minish this ministry um feel free please subscribe um comment in this feel free to leave a comment and also follow the um ministry that we do on TikTok as well as there will be a link to Christ Church's website where you can give an offering to them either you by setting up recurring giving or do a one time gift and as a way of thanking Christ Church again for its continued permission to allow for allowing us to record in their lovely sanctuary. Um, this means the world to me. And I love you all. God bless. And with that being said, may God be with you and I will see you next time. Bye.